I'm not sure if everybody's heard about this yet. Um, if you're from North Carolina, I'm sure you have, but um, the power, there was a power relay station or something, and it was apparently attacked by some people with guns and whatever else, and they did all kinds of damage, and, you know, 30-some thousand people were out of power. Now I guess they're saying 45,000 people were without power. And then it happened again in, um, let me get the thing I wrote it down, Oregon and Washington states. Uh, these power stations have been attacked again. And um, I saw this thing here. Uh, Exclusive memo warns of nationwide power attacks. Uh, the, the psychotic Satanists in this government want to kill off the population. There's a great culling coming. C-U-L-L. -L, cull. Culling. Um, they've been planning this for a while and they want to make it happen. They're implementing a lot of things. 2023 is really going to be when this plan gets ratcheted into high gear. I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Um, Listen to this video here. We'll be stopping it and, and uh, see who was blamed for it. And I mean, I told my wife about this thing just to tell you, you know, my wife is ex-military, two branches of the military. She's a, a veteran, uh, worked with military intelligence before she got saved. We don't work with military intelligence anymore. I'm not a Jesuit priest, according to some of the people out there. Uh, no, sorry. Um, and... I told her about this and I was telling her about this whole thing she said I wonder if it happened near a military base remember that okay here we go let's play this breaking news out of North Carolina officials there are confirming a death more than three days after power was knocked out to tens of thousands of people investigators do say the outage was intentional and criminal and now they're trying to find a motive. And now News Nation has learned exclusively federal law enforcement had warned about attacks on the infrastructure just like this. Correspondent Evan. So the federal law enforcement guys had prior knowledge. They have, they have a crystal ball and they can look and they can say, oh, I think that there could be some things that are happening. And I wonder who they would blame. Maybe white gun owning Americans. You know, watch the report. It's insane. Evan Lambert is live in Washington now with the late breaking details. Yeah, Nicole, and it's important to point out in that press conference that just wrapped up a little bit ago, officials did say that they have not confirmed that the cause of death was related to the power outage itself. But also, right now, the FBI is telling us that they are involved in this investigation and that it is too early to say why someone did this. But News Nation, okay, hold on a second. Let's back up here. Officials confirm death in North Carolina home without power. And let's, let's get back and hear that again. We're not sure if it's caused by it, but it's confirmed. Look at this. To now with the late breaking details. Yeah, Nicole, and it's important to point out in that press conference that just wrapped up a little bit ago, officials did say that they have not confirmed that the cause of death was related to the power outage itself. Uh, okay. They have not confirmed it, that the cause of death was related to the power outage. Officials confirm death in North Carolina home without power. Play a little word games there. Um, well, technically, we've confirmed the death, but we're not sure if it's because of the power outage. That, then what's the report about here? Again, another example here why I'm showing the prince of the power of the air, how the devil controls these people to just get on the TV and lie, you see. And turn people, you know, divide and conquer. That's what this whole thing's about. So you get the black people and they have to fear the white people now because white people are all gun owning crazies that want to kill other people or something like this. You'll see it. Just keep watching. But also, right now, the FBI is telling us that they are involved in this investigation and that it is too early to say why someone did this. But News Nation exclusively obtaining a warning that just came out about this kind of attack in recent days. In recent days, you have to make sure that your voice hits the right tones. You have to get your training down so that you can speak in dramatic ways. Um, it's too early. To know exactly why this happened and we're not sure who we just know that it happened and that we need more action probably should take guns away you know <laughs>
Just days after what officials called a targeted attack on power substations in North Carolina, News Nation exclusively obtaining a recent federal law enforcement memo that warned of something strikingly similar. The memo says, quote, power companies in Oregon and Washington have reported physical attacks on substations using hand tools, arson, firearms, and metal chains, possibly in response to an online call for attacks on critical infrastructure. Okay, <clears throat> so we have to get rid of hand tools, matches, firearms, and metal chains. I think we should have background checks for metal chain sales now. You know, tractor supply or other stores like that that sell metal chains. <laughs> The memo says the aim is, quote, violent anti-government criminal activity. It goes on, quote, in recent attacks, criminal actors bypassed security fences by cutting the fence links, lighting nearby fires, shooting equipment from a distance, or throwing objects over the fence and onto equipment. The FBI telling News Nation Tuesday it is too early to know a motive for the gunfire damage that caused widespread power outages in Moore County, North Carolina. But there have been similar cases of vandalism and plots in North Carolina and across the country in recent months. On November 11th, sheriff's deputies in Jones County, North Carolina reported that criminal vandalism caused 12,000 people to lose power for days. That investigation remains ongoing and News Nation is told no suspects have been identified identified or arrested. In February, the Department of Justice secured guilty pleas for three men accused of plotting to shoot substations across the country with powerful rifles. The FBI saying the defendant should probably get her powerful rifles on, you know. Yeah. were white supremacists and planned to cause millions in damage and social unrest. Federal authorities have warned of domestic terrorism-related threats to critical infrastructure for years. The Department of Homeland Security renewing that concern in a terrorism alert bulletin put out publicly last week. It says in part, quote, targets of potential violence include public gatherings, faith-based institutions, the LGBTQI plus community, schools, racial and religious minorities, government facilities and personnel, U.S. critical infrastructure, the media, and perceived ideological opponents. At their peak, the outages in North Carolina caused 45,000 homes to lose power. It appears to be an intentional, willful, and malicious act, and the perpetrator... You know, it, it appears to be, well, yeah, obviously, unless they were shooting at targets and were really bad shots or something. I mean, but you'll see the military tie in here in just a minute. Uh, it will be brought to justice and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. People there also losing of heat course. in the colder months, schools forced to close, and some people forced to turn to charities to cook them food. And I said, I'm going to stop out there and get me some these. Because yeah. uh, eating out the can all the time just don't get it. <laughs> Just don't get it. Um, yeah. Why would white supremacists take down the power grid that they're reliant on themselves? All right. Uh, you know, we have, you know, I'm off grid. We live off grid, but I come here to work. If I take down the power grid by going and shooting a local power station or something, I can't work. All right, and I don't know many two other or don't know many other guys in America, white guys. You know, I'm I'm a terrorist, I guess, because I'm white. You know, I'm the new terrorist now, a white guy that believes in the founding fathers and the Constitution. I read the Bible, so oh, I'm evil. What a bunch of demonization, just nonsense. Again, it's to to cause division. Oh, we're going to see an end to racism. No, we we aren't. There'll never be an end to racism in America. Because the news media won't let it go. They constantly are doing things to divide people. They get people mad at each other. But, you know, what kind of white guy out there with any brains would go out and say, let, let me take down the power structure that I depend on. But listen to what this guy says here. Okay? Remember what my wife said. Being ex-military. She said, I wonder if this power outage thing is near a military base. And the area without power is near Fort Bragg. A base spokesman tells us that thousands of service members and their families are also impacted by this. And near Fort Bragg. You don't think it would have been a military little detachment going out there and causing a false flag, do you? No, they wouldn't do that. They, you know, they, they're 
whoever did it is going to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. And, you know, again, I mean, we should really take guns away because of this. I mean, we're not safe with people having guns. They could kill power stations and whatnot. Yeah, and it's such a retarded thing. I mean, let's... You have to give in your guns. Why? Because there's an increase in crime. Uh, shouldn't that make us want to keep our guns and, in fact, get more guns if there's an increase in crime? You know? I remember a Charlie Daniels song years ago. I used to listen to a secular song and everything else, but he'd say, now they're trying to take our guns away, and that would be just fine. If you take them away from the criminals first, I'll gladly give you mine. You know? Eliminate crime. See? Stop with the, you know, shootings and all the other stuff. Eliminate crime, and then, you know, uh, we wouldn't have anything to shoot at, I guess, apparently. <laughs> you know, it's crazy. Let's continue. And that leadership is making sure that they have flexibility with their schedules while they are affected by any loss of power. Nicole. All right, Evan, thank you for that. And we are digging into this with a former DHS advisor. His thoughts on what this breaking development means for the investigation. That is still ahead on Rush Hour. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your... Okay, yeah. So there you have it, yeah. Uh, white people, uh, gun owners and things like that. Where do they say it there? Well, the, I said about the gun owners and things but uh, they're going to attack the perverts and things and the uh, different things here and race racial and religious minorities well hey I'm a religious minority I'm a Bible believing Christian so I guess you know hey I should have some special care from the government as well so just another false flag another thing intended to make gun owning white people look bad you know just doesn't even make any sense I mean, these people, the media and the government want war. They want to kill people. And like I said, if you're saved out there, you're watching this, just be aware of this whole thing. Okay, you have to be aware of it. You have to pray and say, okay, Lord, keep these wicked people away from us. Uh, they're, they're just constantly scheming. I mean, you and I, we're normal. We get up, we want to eat uh, breakfast, you know. Um, go about our day, be left alone, you know, go to work, you know, be with our children, be with our family. Hey, there's a dog. Hi, boy. Come here, boy. And with it, these people just constantly plotting and scheming. And what can we do next to, to kill more people? I wonder what we can do. Children of the devil, right? If you want proof of Satan, look at the people who follow him. Okay. They're psychotic. So that is going to be it. Thank you for watching. Please do pray about this situation and all situations. Um, pray that we can live a peaceable and quiet life in all godliness and honesty, I think the Bible says. So that's what we should be praying for. Um, see you in the next video.